impossible mega projects that will fail. Mega projects are vital for public benefits, societal advancement, and environmental conservation. Mega projects necessitate a lot of effort in addition to money. The critical issue is finishing similar systems on time and on a budget. Despite the challenges, numerous large systems worldwide have managed to accomplish projects on time and on budget. Some of the most notable completed mega projects include the Panama Canal expansion and the Vancouver Portman Bridge. Similar systems may fail spectacularly if not appropriately designed. Today's video will look at the top 10 failed mega projects worldwide. Let's start. Number 10, Ciudad Real International Airport, Spain. Spain has continuously ranked among the most popular tourist destinations in Europe. Due to this, a new field was constructed in Ciudad Madrid in 2009 to alleviate traffic congestion at the airport. The field, which was constructed at approximately 1.1 billion euros, can accommodate up to 20 million passengers at a time. Ciudad Airport has one of the longest runways in Europe, ranking in the top five longest in the world. The Ciudad Airport was located approximately 200 kilometers south of Madrid, the Spanish capital. Consequently, the situation has deteriorated due to a lack of good airlines and sufficient customers. Last but not least, the Ciudad Airport, which has been sold for a pittance, turned out to be a doomed megaproject in the end. Dubai Creek Tower Dubai's Creek Tower is a multi-billion dollar project that aims to be the tallest man-made skyscraper. With a price tag of more than $1 billion, this design was shown off in February 2016. The builders faced a massive task in constructing it, which began with sword lines. After the palace building began, the difficulties of getting many sword lines to the tower's height, which was expected to reach 928 meters, became a challenge. At least 50% of the structure must be inhabited to be classified as a skyscraper. However, only 30% of the Dubai Creek Tower is livable. The tower's construction is currently on hold but is expected to be completed by 2022. As a result, this mega project is presently one of the world's failed systems. Number 8. Interstate H3 Highway, the USA Hawaii. The Interstate H3 Hawaii in Oahu, Hawaii experienced many problems. The idea of this engineering marvel was first proposed in 1960. Still, Environmentalists, locals, and strict environmental laws stopped it from happening. In 1986, the U.S. Congress overcame these challenges and began building the 24-kilometer roadway. There is a bridge between the Pearl Harbor Naval Base Hickam Air Force Base Complex and Kaneohe Marine Corps Air Station on the East Shore. The design cost was five times the construction budget due to detainment and other issues. The H3 is one of the most valuable interstates ever built. It costs $1.3 billion, which equates to $80 million per mile. So, it was a flop. Number 7. Naypyidaw, Myanmar Naypyidaw, often known as the Ghost City, was chosen as Myanmar's new capital. Yangon's existing city is expected to quadruple in population by 2050, prompting the Myanmar government to begin building a new capital in 2002. The megacity of Naypyidaw was finished in 2012, but residents were reluctant to settle there. There are no excellent hospitals or schools, and long car trips to nearby metropolis keep people away. Its city's life is defined by its population, hence Naypyidaw is a failing design. Number 6. Dubai Artificial Islands Dubai's Artificial Islands project developed on the water is a tempting megaproject. However, Compared to the utilization of these islands, the design was a waste of plutocrats' work and time. Dubai began work in 2001, intending to create a fake bank with tiny islands. The Palm Jumeirah, the Palm Jebel Ali, and the Deira Islands were meant to be three artificial island towns. However, the Dubai authorities have not been able to complete anything other than the Palm Jumeirah after 20 years. The completed Palm Genera is another extreme, sinking 0.2 inches each year into the water. The fundamental cause of this mega-failure project is lack of sufficient planning and forethought. Number 5. Forest City, Malaysia 
The forest city is a new town in the Iskandar Malaysia Special Economic Zone in Johor, Malaysia. The concept consists of four man-made islets totaling 30 km square in Johor, Malaysia, near Singapore. Investors from all over the world have come to Malaysia to help build this multi-billion dollar megacity near Singapore. But because 80% of these investors are Chinese, Malaysians are wary about settling in Forest City. As a result, Malaysia's Prime Minister has declared Forest City off-limits to foreign investment. Following this, the Forest City's construction halted as international investors began to pull out. Forest City today has a population of fewer than 500 people. This vast project will not be finished soon, so it can be called a failure. Number 4. Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository The Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository was a megaproject that started development to treat nuclear waste from hundreds of nuclear power plants around the U.S. In part because all of its small population and the ability of the mountains to store nuclear waste, Yucca was chosen to build the waste treatment plant. Locals in Yucca, on the other hand, were against the plan. The main reason for their opposition was the concern that the water sources in Yucca would be contaminated. The design of Yucca Mountain, on the other hand, began in the early 1980s. Yucca Mountain in Nevada was chosen as the site for the facility by the President and Congress in 2002. People objected and said they didn't like the design. The U.S. stopped supporting the megaproject in 2010. The authorization to renew the work was approved by the federal court in 2012, but no more building work has been done since then. As a result, Yucca is a megaproject that has resulted in the loss of billions of bones. Number 3. London Garden Bridge if the London Garden Bridge, which began construction over the River Thames in London, had been completed, it would have been one of the most magnificent bridges in the world. The bridge was half completed in 2017 when it was discovered that a bridge of this type was not required at the location where it was being built. It was anticipated to cost $272.8 million. Near the London Garden Bridge, which was built to connect the Temple Resistance Station on the North Bank to the South Bank, there were numerous more low-cost bridges with similar purposes. Number 2. Superconducting Super Collider USA An accelerator complex called Desertron was being built near Wasahashie in Texas. It was called the Superconducting Super Collider. This megaproject was expected to be highly beneficial to American scientific development. Still, it failed badly due to a lack of planning and execution. After 22.5 kilometers, the tunnel was abandoned, which was supposed to be 87 kilometers long. In 1993, the U.S. Congress stopped funding for the superconducting supercollider. It terminated the project, expecting the overall cost to rise from $4 trillion to $11 trillion. Approximately $2 trillion in duty profit has also been spent on the design. Number 1. Ryogong Hotel In North Korea, there's still work to be done on the Ryogong Hotel, also known as the Hostel of Doom. The 330-meter high and 105-story hotel was built in Pyongyang in 1987 with Soviet funding. After the fall of the Soviet Union, North Korea's economy collapsed and the hotel's construction was halted in 1992. Decorative LED lights were added to the outside walls of the hotel in 2018 for a total cost of about $180 million. This made the whole thing look even more like a big screen of nationalistic themes and symbols. Reuters estimates that the total cost of treating the untreated hotel at roughly $2 billion. This is almost 5% of North Korea's GDP, so this megaproject is a flop. Still, the Ryogyong Hotel is the tallest building in North Korea. According to Guinness, it's the world's highest uninhabited structure. Many massive projects built for the country's benefit have failed miserably because of poor planning and foresight, which has cost governments a lot of money. With solid planning and forethought, we can expect many good megaprojects in the future. What do you think about these megaproject failures? Let us know in the comments below. 
And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more new videos. Thanks for watching.